Hi, this is Duncan Moore and today we're going to be making a picture frame um, for Forest School kids or for any young kids there, in fact, um, have a go at. Um, as said in some of the other videos, the woods we're over has far too much holly so we're in the process of thinning it out. So we're going to be using some holly for this so we've just cut some down. And the idea is make a simple rustic looking frame which um, the young people can do themselves and then they can either you know weave, weave a spider's web inside it or make a collage of all different things inside the frame it's really good sort of um, involved and progressive idea to do when you're out in the woods it gives them something to really build on um, right so what we're going to do we've got our two main two main frames and then we're going to so we're going to create these two across here and we're going to square lash all four corners on these. So um, you can see the square lashing in the in one of our other videos. So what we're going to do, uh, we start off as always with a um, clove hitch, clove hitch even. <coughs> Just to secure it onto there, leaving a bit at the end to allow for that and then we're going to start our lashing. I've got four equal pieces of paracord here um, which we can then do our lashings with. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right position before I get too tight. Keeping it nice and tight. Just keeping an eye on how much um, cord we've got left, just for pulling it in and tightening it off. So what we're going to do now is just go around and pull in the lashings, make it nice and tight. Of course this could be scaled up onto almost any scale you want and you could do a massive group picture frame full of all different ideas if possible if you wanted to. Don't know if you'd hang it on the wall but it would look interesting on the floor. So now so we just need to tie that loose end off. Okay. So again we're just going to do our clove hitch. Keep it nice and square with the other one.
I'll just pull that lashing in. Really nice thing to do on this is to actually make some natural cordage and do it with natural cordage as well. Which is a nice whole project for the uh, kids to do there. Let's tie that end off and then we do the same on the other end. Clovich. one in get them as tight as you can One more left to go. Got some deer coming towards me. End. And there we have it. We have obviously you can make these any shape you want. I just went with the wood I had. Um, a nice landscape or portrait picture frame. Great for the kids.